Welcome to our channel. My name is Miriam, nurse practitioner. How are you doing today? Well, we're going to talk about the must haves for a nurse practitioner. Some of the things that I think we must have. One of the first things that, that came to mind is a coffee mug. In fact, a coffee mug that has a, a lid on it, a cover on it. How many times have you left your coffee? You know, you got coffee, you came in, but then you got, after you see four or five patients, you came back, the coffee is cold, right? So it'd be good to have a mug that has a lid on it so that you can still take your warm coffee. A water bottle, a nice water bottle, so that you can easily, you know, hydrate because it's very important for us to hydrate, you know, so that we'll be able to function, right? So that would be a must have. How about your lab coat, scrubs and all that? Well, most places, uh, tell you what a uniform coat is. Either, you know, you wear your scrubs or you wear your casual, but a lab coat is a must. So you want to not forget that. You know, of course, you have your lab coat, you have your quality stethoscope. And some places, yes, they have a, give you a, a lab coat that already has everything engraved on it. But if you don't have that and they use name tags, then you really, really want to be doing that because, you know, when you go to see your patients into the room, you know, they see you for the first impression, that is very, very important because we must be what professional at all times. So th those are some of the must haves that I think about. How about your uh, medical pen light? Have your little light to, you know, for you, with you, because you cannot depend on just things that you will find in the patient's room. Sometimes, you know, we need hand cream, we need lotion, uh, uh, you know, but you go to a room after you finish seeing the patient, you want to wash your hands. Sometimes there's no soap in there or sometimes the hand lotion is out, right? So you really, really want to carry some of these things with you sometimes. And also, you know, you need your medical bag. That medical bag will be where you put your stethoscope, your pen light, uh, you know, your hand lotion, your little items, your, you know, uh, other things, your little clipboard and all that. What are some of the apps that we need, you know, that we must have, in my opinion? You know, you need like Epocrates, E-P-O-C-R-A-T-E-S. You know, they have good information on, on, on there for nurse practitioners. Uh, up to date, you know, up to date is regarded as the Bible, right? But it's quite expensive. So most employers will, you know, give it uh, prescribed habits so you'll be able to use. I don't recommend buying it, but, you know, because it's, it's, it's very expensive. But it's a very good app to have, you know, I use it at work all day long. How about an EMRA an antibody guide? That is a good guide to have, you know, as an app. Of course, it's, you have to pay for that. And then some apps such as the Clinician's Guide to Laboratory Medicine. That's a very good app to have, you know, as far as looking at labs and trying to make sense of them. And then, of course, you need an MD calculator. You also need an easy drug dose calculator. You need an LDL calculator. Again, those are apps, you know, that are free that you just download from. The ADA standards of care, you know, for diabetes, that is a must-have because if you're working in primary care like I do, you know, if you see about 10 patients a day, maybe, you know, we're not exaggerating, but eight of them have diabetes. So it's very good to be, you know, uh, comfortable with treating people with diabetes. How about a pediatric dosage tool app? You know, you use that because if you are a family nurse practitioner like I am, you want to have that so that you can use it, you know, making sure you are doing uh, accurate calculation for children, you know, when it comes to their prescription medication. Then the CDC uh, STD treatment app, free, but it has worth of information. It's excellent. You know, you don't have to look further. Just you put it on, open it up, bam, you have every information. You have your prescription stuff. You have the, the quick information to look and see what's going on with that uh, condition. The USPS task force, you know, that is the one that give us guidelines, right, as to when to do mammograms, when to do pap smears, when to do um, colonoscopy screening stuff, things like that. So it's a must-have. Again, it's, there's an app for it. It's a free app. You can just put it on your phone. And then how about current medical diagnosis and treatments? That is also another good uh have to have. Don't forget compassion because you need it every single day. Taking care of sick people, trust me, they are coming to you for help. So a lot of times you are meeting a different person from the regular one, right? Because the person that that person is when they are sick, they change into something else sometimes. 
So don't forget to every day when you're going to work, have that compassion, that empathy, you know, to take good care of our patients. Like this video, share it, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.